And welcome back once again to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson here on assignment inside the CenturyLink Field Event Center at the 2014 Seattle Auto Show. And we just learned all about the Jeep Renegade Trailhawk, the vehicle you see behind me. This is our newest family member, and it's an addition to the range. Uh, it is the, uh, the smallest, most capable Jeep ever. And uh, it needs to be because when you put a Jeep name on something, our customers expect a certain level of, of, uh, of 4x4 capability. And just because it's small, it can't go without that. So I'll talk to you uh, particularly about that. But just to be clear, it is actually uh, an addition to Patriot and Compass Continue. And this, this comes in as a nice addition to the range. Uh, so when we looked at the compact you know, SUV segment, it's really just starting to grow here in America. There's not a whole lot of players uh, here, you know, some recent entries, but there's really um, not a whole lot of um, you know, solidified players. But, so we really had some nice uh, white space to work with when we decided what we wanted this new uh, Jeep uh, Renegade to be. So obviously, uh, a small vehicle needs to be very fuel efficient, needs to be very compact. And, in, and uh, specifically, when you look at, uh, at Seattle, you know, we were joking this morning and saying that, you know, when, when you look at how many compact cars and compact SUVs are sold in Seattle, it's perfect for this, this environment. I mean, you might actually put the little Starbucks sign on it somewhere and then it would fit in uh, just perfectly. And it's got us some ideas of how we might launch this vehicle here in Seattle. And, you know, so you might see a nice drive away of, of you know, a couple hundred uh, renegades driving by the Starbucks here in a couple of months. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect for this environment because, you know, the, the, uh, the compact nature of this vehicle and the fuel economy and the affordability uh, fit right in in, uh, in Seattle. So it'll be a great, uh, great fit for this. But let me talk to you about it, how it had to be a Jeep first, because with, uh, with 4x4 capability uh, being what people expect for Jeep, we needed to make sure that we, uh, we had that embedded in this, uh, in this vehicle. So first of all, when you take a look at it, it's purely recognizable as a Jeep. You know, it's actually been one of our, in the actual strongest uh, recognizable Jeep that we've uh, researched uh, in my uh, 21 years now with this company. Everybody looked at it, we had no badges on it, they're like, okay, that's a Jeep. You know, seven slot grill, trapezoidal wheel openings, you know, aggressive uh, departure and, uh, and break over and, um, and approach angles. We embed that in the, uh, the, the Trailhawk model. So when you take a look at, this is the Trailhawk model, it's got some pretty crazy aggressive uh, stances to it that help it be recognizable as a Jeep. Uh, the the uh, Trailhawk also brings with it one inch of, of extra lift and um, some skid plates and tow hooks that help it uh, to be very capable on the rockiest trails. In, in fact, you take a look at our, uh, our, our tow hooks, most people don't even recognize tow hooks anymore or even have them on SUVs. We like ours so much, we paint them red. Um, you know, we don't want them to be missed because uh, that will actually pull two and a half times this Jeep's weight from a 35 degree angle. And that's a little bit of technical grimble, but that's a really strong tow hook. So that has two four wheel drive systems, active drive and active drive low. The active drive system is all managed through a, uh, a select train dial, like we invented with Jeep Grand Cherokee. A um, little bit of controversy there because some competitors think they invented it, but we were in market first. Um, and then it's actually right on the, uh, on the center console, you can see it. Uh, at the bottom with, uh, with the Renegade. So you can control the four wheel drive system, you can put it into snow mode, completely balances the vehicle, or you can put it in mud or sand or rock uh, mode uh, for the different four wheel drive settings. It is a Jeep and it's got a really cool four wheel drive system that can actually move 100% of the power to one wheel if you want to. So think about this Jeep, you lift it up and you plunk down a wheel and it can drive 100% of the power to that wheel. And that's what keeps the Jeep moving forward when all the other systems in the world engage their active wheel spin cancellation and actually just shut the vehicles down. It will keep finding traction and keep creeping forward and that's what makes this uh, Jeep really cool. The active drive low then also manages through the nine speed uh, transmission a 20 to one crawl ratio. 20 to one crawl ratio is first gear times TKs times rear end. And all that means is the bigger the number, the more power you can put to the ground and the bigger obstacles you can climb over. So that's a pretty good number when you take a look at the fact that most of the competition in this segment um, don't have any sort of crawl ratio and we take ours all the way up to 20 to 1, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. The other thing that is very important uh, to, uh, to Jeep is open air driving. You can imagine, you can see it in our Wranglers, the top off, 
You know, you take the top off, the doors off, that still sets the standard for uh, what open air freedom means. Uh, and it's pretty cool and I th arguably the coolest vehicle still on the planet. Nobody else comes close. But it's nice to have a little bit of that with the, uh, with the Jeep Renegade. So when you take a look at the Renegade, we have the new um, MySky system. There's actually two of them. There's a power and, and a manual system, but you can actually take both of the panels out. So you can see it when you get up here in a few minutes, but you can sit in the back and actually have a full open air freedom uh, with this. Now to manage the, um, you know, the four wheel drive system and then to also to deliver, we haven't announced any um, uh, fuel economy uh, ratings yet, but I can guarantee you we'll start with a three. We have a one four turbo, uh, which I've got to say is a blast to drive in this Jeep. It is just fun. Um, and it's available with a, a, a front wheel drive and a four by four. And it's also available with a manual. So most people have given up on manuals um, and nobody really does a manual 4x4. Um, so we're going to be kind of exclusive in that segment, but it's just a fun Jeep to drive and why wouldn't you if you can? We also have a, um, a 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder as well. This is available with the uh, nine speed transmission. So when you take a look at what I said before about the good um, capability along with the um, the needed fuel economy, we do that by, uh, by employing nine speeds. So it's the first uh, small SUV ever to have nine speeds. It's the same uh, that we introduced with the, uh, with the Jeep Cherokee and, uh, and it helps us get, uh, get both great capability and, uh, and great fuel economy. And then where those also mesh together, the, uh, the four wheel drive system is really cool because it will disconnect all of the, uh, the rear axles and not have any parasitic losses when it's, when it's driving down the road. So it's a, a really good system uh, that way as well. When you take a look at the, uh, uh, the technology and the safety that we've embedded uh, in this Jeep, it's pretty phenomenal. I mean, it's got all the airbags and hill ascent and, and electronic roll mitigation, all the stuff that you'd expect uh, in an SUV. Uh, but it's also got some unexpected things like the, uh, the voice, uh, the text uh, feature that is available, which is really cool. You keep your hands on your wheel. You're not reaching for your iPhone or your, your phone to try to text. I mean, that, that's got to stop. The world has got to stop doing that. And this Jeep can help you do that. It will read your text and let you respond and read back. And at least you can keep your hands on the steering wheel and your mind on the road. And be sure to keep it right here on Everyman Driver and EverymanDriver.com for more exclusive footage and features from the 2014 Seattle Auto Show. I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching.